open source uh, have kind of become the default mm -hmm. for software development and uh, so but do you see any any risk that you know maybe companies will go back because we saw the redis labs where they changed the license do you sometimes feel that you know we might you know go back to the i don't so from a development angle i think people do realize how powerful it is to just have like open code and letting people be part of the development process. Right. So the only situation where you end up, I think, going back to uh, a old fashioned proprietary model ends up being for niche products where, where you, you may have actually a hard time finding that general population that wants to help you. Um, so I don't think those matter. I, I think if if you worry about uh, just open source in general, you should worry more about the whole, when you do everything on the web and as a service, you can use that service with open source and a regular Chrome browser or something like that, but yeah. you're not seeing what's going on behind the curtain. Right. And and I think that's that's what a lot of people are more worried about and I with reason that, that you can you can get into this situation where okay the software you run on your machine may be open source but but then if you <clears throat> most of what you do ends up being in a proprietary cloud system anyway uh, uh, and sticking to open source uh, everything is part of but at the same time we are also building a serverless machine mm -hmm. where people, so do you i don't know uh, how much, you know, do you really care about just the code it has to be open source or you also care about, you know, either the business practices? So, uh, me personally, I only care about the code. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I say that maybe a lot of people worry about the walled gardens and, and cloud providers and they, all the ownership of the data that you find with like, the obvious Facebooks, Googles, Apples, whatever. Uh, that's not what I actually care about. It's not what I do. I do code. And uh, I'm just saying I understand that a lot of people who care about open source because of the whole traditional freedom thing, uh, they will find it much, I mean, worrying to how much is happening inside the walled gardens of big companies. And I actually don't think it's so much the code. The code is is often open source even in in a proprietary environment what the big companies have is they have all the data and uh, and that is obviously their bread and butter and i it, it makes perfect sense but but it's it's maybe a real issue